Police Bureau overspends budget by $5 million. This is another report. This is from the Portland Mercury. Go ahead and go to the next graphic. All right, grand jury finds no criminal wrongdoing in Portland police shooting. Again, this is just making the problem worse. Another lawsuit is likely on the way. Go ahead and go to the next. Okay, we'll stop there because this gets into some other areas which we are going to talk about later on. Bill, whenever uh, track eight is ready, we will go ahead and resume uh, our programming and documentation of what's taking place in the streets of Portland. As soon as being called out, ironically, they vanished like ninjas in the thin air. And I encourage my audience, if they support me and this show, to ask on portland.indymedia.org why they continue to censor every one of my reports and posts presenting an alternative view on what really went down in the streets. Go ahead and go to the next video. And I want to thank Bill for we coming in tonight. To There's a lot of work you got, obviously, Northwest on our Portland hands right to do. now. We showed you earlier a group of about 40 people have been protesting the police custody death of James Chassie. Katie's Megan Cockstein joins us now live with the very latest tonight. Megan? Well, protesters slipped away from the scene just about a block from here about a half hour ago, but not before leaving a pretty big mess at the intersection of Northwest 13th and Everett. They knocked over dumpsters, left trash on the ground, and they actually used caution tape to block off this. that entire intersection. Watch. The group in the middle of the intersection was dressed in all black and even covering their faces with black handkerchiefs. They were holding signs protesting the death of James Chassie. They were chanting the names of Aaron Campbell and also Jack Collins, both who were recently shot and killed by Portland police officers. Protesters were calling out the police, calling them murderers. About 20 police officers were on the scene, and then as soon as they broke up, police took down the tape. They started actually cleaning up the garbage themselves. They were tipping over those dumpsters to make sure they were right side up and okay, pause. putting back all the garbage bags that these protesters had left. Here's the situation, and thank you, Anita, for censoring what I was screaming out of the megaphone. I was not with a megaphone calling the Portland police murders at that particular moment. I was calling out the black block as you just saw me document. I asked her why she did not put that on the air. She ignored me and looked away. And uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, the media is being attacked by multiple groups physically. Fox News was attacked. They had their cords ripped out. Obviously, I'm not a fan of Fox News, but the fact of the matter is, they've got to report the story. They just can't say, all oh, the protesters were calling them murderers. They got to also document the fact there are people there trying to expose what potential provocateurs are trying to do, and that's get a war going on. And so that's what I'm upset with there. And the fact of the matter was there was about 40 to 50 cops, not 20. So she actually just lied to you. Bill, if we can go forward to the next track. This is uh, my discussion with the black block. This is April 9th, the next day. This is two days ago. Since you care so much about fighting the police, since you care so much, you guys are just mad at me. I'm doing that. Do you have anything to fear? You've got nothing to hide. I'm not wearing a mask. It's a bullshit. I'm not wearing a mask. It's a bullshit. I'm not wearing a mask. But you're still a fucking cop. Fuck up. Stop watching Alex. You're still a fucking cop. You guys are being led into a trap. You guys are being led into a trap. Bill, next track. Okay, next DVD, rather, and then we're going to move it up to track number three. And what you're going to see here is the second time that I, bull I bullhorn this group because of the way they are conducting uh, their protest. I am not with the police. I am not pro-police. I am attempting to expose the plans for the complete martial law federal takeover of the police and our city. How many other people in this city are doing that? How many other people went to Top Off 4 to report that this was a CIA, FBI, 
takeover of the city and also the Mossad in Israel is also involved in drills taking place in Portland, by the way. And we just happen to have an Israeli sniper, IDF, thank you, Zachariah Budarest, who's going to State uh, University in Portland, PSU. And no one's talking about this. You're watching ball games. You're watching American Idol. Maybe not you necessarily, but perhaps your neighbors, perhaps your friends. I mean, every time I go out, people are like, hey, don't talk about politics or religion. When reality, I talk about life, spirituality. How do we keep our neighborhoods safe? How do we keep our planet? You, you know, on, it's, uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll it. We're running out of time. Go ahead and start going over this. I want you to get a pan over. You like lemons. <laughs> How many cops do you think we've got here? One. Sure paid a lot, aren't they? What? Yep. About 30 plus 6 on horses plus 10 for bikes. Yeah, the bikes are on a fucking. Yeah, that's true. No, we're not, we're not against this, but what we are against is the violence. You know, we call the violence. Exactly. Okay, now they're, they're anyway, going to be provoking, page. David, and so we're going to take a look. I'm not going to waste more time megaphoning. We've got to observe what's going on here. I know. after he physically got in a police officer's face and tried to engage in violence and get a riot going. That's why I asked him that question. Many of these people are fans or previous fans that think I'm a cop and have gone to the other side. This is how far blown their mind is gone. How much they've been brainwashed by those controlling the chapters of this anarchist movement. have a discussion, you and me. This is a call to action. I need your help. I think most of you are intelligent enough 
to go over to Google.com and find out what the number is for the city of Portland and call Mayor Sam Adams and let him know you're aware of this story that we're reporting this and leave him a voicemail. This is a call to action. I am asking for your help. I'm also looking for volunteers to help out on the show, writers, documentary filmmakers. I am about to get very, very active in a way that I have never been active before. I'm also looking for a rental space.